Here, let's talk about Pepper because uh, we saw her in Asylum and now she's back in Freak Show. Obviously a big fan favorite. Uh, do you see some parallels between the two seasons or are they completely different? Well, other than me, I'm, I'm the parallel. Yeah, seems. you are. You're the connective tissue to the, mm -hmm. to the two seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any overlap in terms of like uh, her, is she playing the same, uh, is she in the same universe as Asylum or is she just the same character in a completely rebooted sort of season? I think it's the same character in yeah. a whole It's not like universe. we'll see her get hauled off to the Asylum at the end of this season. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Ooh, I like it. Uh, I, you know, I don't even know that the writers know. Yeah. They're writing as they go, so we haven't gotten that far like, yet. The creativity when you're watching the, the episodes is palpable, you know? I mean, I would have loved to play a new character, obviously, stretch right. my chops. You know, I think, uh, I, I don't want to be pigeonholed as a, as a pinhead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, how cool to play, be the only returning character, the only crossover. Yeah. That's... It means I did something right. Totally, and then so people must come up to you on the street now and be like, "Hey, Pepper, American Horror Story." Yeah. What's that like for you? I know, right? Because for so long I was unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah, at first it was a little upsetting. And like, it's not exactly flattering, right? Exactly. Yeah. Like uh, you recognize me because I'm the ugliest woman on TV. <laughs> um, right. On the surface, obviously, Pepper. You know, her appearance is maybe disturbing to some people at first, but there's such a sweet undertone of, of gentleness to her. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how you balance those two, you know, roles with the physical physical and her heart sort of um yeah I I, I don't know I to put on the makeup yeah. and I make the face and that's what comes out yeah. and it looks gentle I'm not playing gentle did you um, have any actresses or performances that you drew upon um, when you were looking to play pepper like what is what is she based mm -hmm. on well schlitzy who was a real-life microcephalic from the 19 30s, I right. believe. Okay. Um, Todd Browning's Freaks. Yes. That was my model. So you just studied that that footage and, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're so great about uh, direction in terms of giving you just enough. You know, they don't micromanage, but mm -hmm. they give you just what you need. Um, and so I got Schlitzy. Yeah. That's what you do. Huh. And uh, obviously, like the big tagline with with um, this new season is "We are all freaks." Mm. Talk to me about how the show really opens up, you know, doors and breaks down barriers for a lot of, you know, prejudice mm -hmm. and equality and it just feels like everyone is welcome in that show. I agree. And I mean Ryan Murphy is that's what he does. You know, if you look at what at his repertoire, he has um, you know, special needs and, you know, disabled uh, actors on um, throughout. And so it's really neat that there's this special season just dedicated to that. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it never feels like it's mm -hmm. sort of um, trying to be cliched or insensitive it, because there's always this inclusion with the group, right? No, quite the opposite. I think this show, of all the seasons, I think this is going to be the one um, that really moves people. I think it's um, ripe with, uh, I, I think it's gonna change our dialogue about freaks yeah. and I think that's really important and I think that's more than maybe you expect from some you know horror drama but um, I mean just on set I find myself uh, sort of checking myself you know like when I met Matt Fraser for the first time who plays Paul the illustrated seal you know he first time I met him he thrust his little flipper in my hand and I thought <coughs> you know and then I thought really yeah. like what's wrong with you like yeah. shake the man's hand and that was um, an important moment and why? I mean, I'm here. I'm here to work on the freak show. Like, why should I be surprised? Yeah. Why should I be, uh, like, why do we behave the way we do around people that are different? Um, so I think that's what's, that's what we have to look forward to as an audience, sort of um, testing ourselves and, and asking ourselves to, you know, really think before you act and um, treat each other better. Now you can't say much about your role in Freak Show at this I point. I really don't you? even know who I am. You don't yet, yeah. What is that like? Are you intrigued about who you're going to be playing? Uh, yeah. It's, it's yes. kind of exciting, right? Yeah, it's, I'm driving myself crazy in a good way. <laughs> Gotta figure out where I am placed. Yeah. Or I'm guessing that if I do get called, and I know I probably will, that it'll probably be in the last half of the season. Yeah, now would you like to play sort of a, a good character or someone evil? 
It depends. Yeah. If, if, if there's a mix of both in, yes. in one. Not like one in it. Yeah, yeah. And let's talk about Coven because there was a mix of good and evil with a lot of the characters. Yes. yes. Uh, out on Blu-ray and DVD now. Yes. And uh, obviously you can get all the bonus uh, content on FX's website as well, right? Y yes, the, there's um, bonus content on, on, on the website and also on the DVD. Okay. They have a Halloween section with zombies. Yeah. And also um, on, the, on the fourth disc yeah. of it that has the finale. Let's see, next was a crazy, that amazing lady. Yeah. There's also some more footage as well. I was so glad that the zombies factored into that season because yes. uh, it was done so well. And yes. when you see American Horror Story, like they're, you know, they don't pull any punches about horror. Like it is genuinely yeah. there yeah. to shock Ryan and scare Murphy's you. Ryan Murphy's vision for every season is phenomenal. Yeah, and it just keps getting better each season. I'm just more yes. and more shocked at what they do and the directions they go. You seem to be genuinely, you know, just naturally excited and fired up about being part of this show. It's uh, amazing. What is it that that is your favorite part of it? Just the people or the script or the characters Everything. you play? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Even the history. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's kind of being shot in New Orleans. Right, and so had you been here before? It's ever since, before American Horror Story, I actually, it's been four years, four years for me. Yeah. So when I actually heard that it was going to be filmed in, out here, like, oh yeah. <laughs> and did you have a sort oh, of... Yeah, it's been four years since I've been here, so yeah. I'm, you, you bet. What are some of your favorite uh, scary films or horror movies? Uh, some of my favorites. Yeah, like what scares you the most? Um, I'm not, I, I am a little bit, a, a bit a, a horror buff. Yeah. The only movies that I really do, um, like watching and studying. Yeah. Are, they, are, are the Halloween movies. Okay. Yeah. Only like, like one or two of them. Yeah, the first couple. Yes. Yeah, and also, honestly, certain uh, certain other ones as well. I'm also a big fan of musical horror. Okay. As well, like 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 like. like, like Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, yeah. That as well. And you like the genre mixing. Yeah. I'm still a big fan of The Exorcist, the original. That was that. Yeah, that was interesting. And also another one um, that I kind of watched as well that I like as well, as well is The Carry. Yes, with the, with Sissy Spacek. Sissy the Spacek, and also the newer one as well. Yeah, people are fascinated and enthralled by American Horror Story mainly because it shocks and and makes them scared. Yeah. Why do you yeah. think people like entertainment that makes them scared like that? Uh, honestly, it heightens certain. Senses, and one of the biggest things with, with, with horror in general, but also with American horror as well, it you can reflect on your own life and see the fears that, that you see your own fears brought in a certain way. Yeah. And by conquering fears, I had with Kevin with me, if I can, real quick, I've got to conquer a drown, drowning thing and a, a car attack as well. and Different things like that. Yeah, so it may, it helps you face those fears. And... I've got to conquer so many fears yeah. in Coven that I hardly ever thought that I could conquer. So being and scared it, can turn into a positive experience. Yes, very positive experience.